Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Session tab on the new Beersmith Web Editor, which is very similar to the Session tab on the desktop version. Uh, so I'm starting here at the Beersmith Recipe site. I have the recipe editor available because I've either started my trial or I bought a gold license or higher. Um, so I click on the recipe editor button, gets me in the recipe editor. I'm going to work with this Great Lakes Porter by clicking on that. Um, I do have videos of the additional tabs here. So, for example, if you're designing a recipe, I've got a video on the designing recipe tab, as well as one on creating a recipe. Uh, I've got videos on the starter tabs and other tabs. But in this case, we're going to go straight to the session tab. And the whole idea behind the session tab is that this is where you record uh, the data that you take when you brew a batch of beer. And uh, each time you create a new batch, you can, for example, just create another copy of the recipe or store a recipe in your brew log. Uh, that you brewed before, and then uh, reset the session data and start over again. So typically what I would do is go in here and actually clear the session data out um, to reset the session data back to the defaults. And what that's going to do is going to set uh, each of these values equal, equal to the estimated values. And it's also going to change the color here so that all the fields that I haven't entered yet are going to be in yellow. So, for example, if I go in and actually measure my boil volume here, let's say it's 16 gallons instead of 15.5, um, you can see this field will turn white, and that's a reminder uh, that I've actually taken the measurement and filled this data in. And so I can go in and, and do the same thing with a pre-boil volume. Let's say it's 1.047 uh, or something like that, and so on. And I can, I can continue to work uh, with these fields and fill them in as I brew my recipe. Um, as I do that, of course, it's doing calculations for me, which is great. So, for example, it's calculating over here the efficiency of the batch, the overall efficiency measured and estimated efficiency, the calories. Um, it's estimating and calculating boil volumes and so on. Um, I'm getting my ABV, measured ABV, the attenuation of the yeast. Uh, all these things are being factored in as I enter my measured values. Um, over here, I can also do carbonation. So, for example, let's say I'm not kegging and I want to work with uh, honey, maybe. I want to bottle it with honey. I can just click on that and put in the carbonation level, and it'll show me how much honey to use. Um, down at the bottom, it's going to show my fermentation profile in blue. So, I can select different profiles here, for example, if I want to, oh, I don't know, maybe a three-stage profile. It'll throw three, di three different stages, and, of course, you can customize those by clicking on the little ed edit button here. Um, but it'll show that along with my actual fermentation readings. And I can add a new rating by clicking here, picking the date, uh, entering the values, and it'll show up as a new point on the graph. And of course, you can also import data and export data from uh, tilt, for example. If you have a tilt hydrometer, there's two different ways to import tilt data. It also imports CSV data. So there's a lot of uh, uh, electronic hydrometers and other things that allow you to import and export uh, uh, comma separated values. Um, so it's very easy to track your fermentation data. You can track both time and te or, I'm sorry, temp temperature as well as the uh, gravity as you go and get an idea of how your beer is fermenting out. Um, so that's a quick overview of the session tab and the way that I use this myself is um, typically I'll create when I if I'm brewing a recipe that I brewed before, I'll save off the recipe that I brewed before into my brew log. And then I'll just create uh, another copy of the recipe with maybe a different version number and date on it, and then uh, clear the session data and start again from here. So that's a quick overview of the session tab. It's meant to record uh, important data for your, for your brew day, and uh, as well as fermentation data as you go. And um, uh, again, you can try this out on Beersmith Desktop, or you can try the Beersmith Web version which is available at beersmithrecipes.com. You can download the actual desktop software at beersmith.com. Um, and both of them have a free trial version available. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for listening.